All right, Elon, I think, you, why don't you give us a quick thing on Tesla and then we'll leave that behind. We can move into space. Sure. Should I use the Yeah, you're good. Okay. All right. Um, so, a quick update on, on Tesla. You have to hold unmute. On the program. Oh. Sure. Uh, hold on one sec. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. All right. All right. Um, so, I'm sure people have been reading about the auto loan uh, bailouts and all that sort of stuff. So. Um, it's, it's kind of a travesty at what's going on, um, although I, hope, I don't think it's going to last too long into the Obama administration. There was a $25 billion loan program that Congress approved to fund um, energy, the development of energy efficient vehicles, essentially to wean ourselves off, off, off oil. Um, and ironically, the, the big three then came to, to Washington and said, now give us that money for our day to day operations building gas guzzlers, um, which is, is, is obviously a um, sort of a version of the intent. Um, and uh, unfortunately, with, with the job situation being, being the way it is, uh, Congress has acceded to that demand and is, my understanding, currently giving 15 to the 25 billion to, to, to the big three um, to fund their day-to-day -day operations, which I believe gets them to about February. Um, I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's not even an exaggeration. Um, although the, the, the speaker, uh, Speaker Pelosi, has also said that as soon as uh, uh, the new administration uh, com comes in, they're going to replenish that fund. So I think it'll be I think it'll be okay. But certainly, if you have the opportunity to to express uh, to uh, anyone in, in DC or in the press uh, the importance of developing uh, clean energy vehicles, uh, please take the opportunity to do so. Um, and in the case of Tesla, um, you know Tesla. Actually, he's not applying for any bailout funds, although some of the press have mistaken that. Uh, what, what Tesla's done is applied for funding to develop uh, lower cost mass market vehicles, and it's essentially the exact intent of the legislation. And um, so hopefully, there's still some money left over to, do, to actually do that um, after the big three have, have taken what they, what the, what they will take. Um, uh, so, uh, and, and t the, the Tesla Roadster. I think a lot of people are familiar with that. That's the two-seater sports car. Um, in fact, my, my car, which is production unit one, is, is parked outside. Um, see if anyone's curious to see it. Um, there's, uh, there's also a Tesla sales and service center on Santa Monica Boulevard. So if you want to pop in and take a look at the car at that time, you're also welcome to do so. Um, and uh, we're, we're about to uh, deliver our 100th production Tesla next week. Sorry to interrupt your video, but I just want to thank you for discovering our tiny channel in the vast YouTube universe. The world often feels divided, broken into pieces, but that's exactly why we started this channel, to build a bridge between the East and the West and share a deeper understanding of both sides. Every week we'll bring you videos just like this one. If you find value here, why not join us on this journey? Subscribe and let's grow and have fun together. Um, and that's, uh... Interestingly enough, uh, the, our hundredth customer is Sam Perry. Um, if, if, if anybody watched the, the, uh, the, the when Obama won and, and Oprah was crying on some guy's shoulder, <laughs> um, that same guy is our hundredth customer. So it's a bit like Zelig. I mean, he's sort of everywhere. Um, <laughs> um, so anyway, he's a, he's a really uh, great guy and. Um, lives in, in the Bay Area, is going to take delivery of his car on Tuesday. So I'm going to hand him the keys personally and uh, thank him for being a customer. So, um, and uh, you know, there's an important point about Tesla, which is whenever somebody buys the, the, the Tesla Roadster, even though it's a $100,000, $109,000 um, sports car and it's kind of a fancy sports car, every penny that Tesla uh, makes goes into development of lower cost mass market vehicles. So the company doesn't issue any dividends, nor will it ever. Uh, you know, my, my salary is minimum wage. Uh, you know, so I'm a volunteer, um, <laughs> basically. Um, so, and, and, you know, it's, it's, like, so it's just an important point because sometimes people think, well, gee, what's the point of making these, these expensive cars, which are sort of toys for rich people, how is that really helping the environment? The, the, the important point to bear in mind is that when you have new technology, it takes time to optimize that technology. If you think back to the early days of cell phones or laptops or, or pretty much anything new, it's expensive in the early days because um, the first job with a new technology is you've got to make it work. 
uh, and, and you make it in small volume, you, you, you sell those cars. But if you, the, the, the critical point is that you can't get to the low cost cars unless you start with the expensive cars. Um, and and that's, that's a point that's sometimes lost. Anyway, that's enough on Tesla. I'll jump into the space stuff. Um, and I'll kick it off with our, our last uh, flight video.